Listen to this. You will not believe what just happened. Look behind me. You see this car right here with his blinkers on? I feel so bad right now. I feel so fucking bad. <laughs> this shit upsets me. Fuck. See, this, this is the shit that happens. This is the shit that happens to me, man. I was walking. I don't want to get emotional, but I was walking. And I didn't see there was a rabbit there. And it ran out in the street and it got hit. And it was sitting there fucking flopping for like a minute. And I said, how, why did, how does this happen to me? You know, how could I came out here at the perfect timing so that that thing runs out in the road and gets its fucking head or body crushed? And I had to sit there and watch it fucking die. Take over a minute or something to fucking die. And then I got a leaf. I found a leaf and I picked it up and I put it at the side of the road. <laughs> That is so fucked up, man. It's fucked up. I don't give a shit what it is. When you see shit like that, it fucking upsets it. But anyway, listen to this crazy shit. <laughs> listen how crazy this is. This is the shit that happens with me. I swear to goodness, dude. It's like the universe is is just either playing a, a, a game or it's showing me something cruel in nature this guy with the headlights pulls over and i'm like oh is this the person that just ran over the rabbit and something happened with their car or they came back because they seen me this guy was picking up a blue jay in the street a blue jay in the street that he stopped for right before I came up to him and he picked it up I thought he was picking up something from his car or another dead animal and I'm thinking what is going on here and and he picks this bird up and it's alive and it lets him pick it up and he places it in the tree and the birds alive when does that happen? How does that happen? That does not happen. And I'm talking about contradictions. I'm talking about, I always put my symbol of half black. I mean, half white, half black, but it's yellow and black because that's the symbol that I can only get on YouTube. I do that all the time. And when I come out, I've just experienced a horrible death of a sentient creature and a creature that was saved by somebody that didn't run over the other creature. And I had to sit there and right when I seen, right when I seen this rabbit get hit, I said, oh no! Like I, like I screamed, like I said, no! I'm not trying to see anything be killed in front of me, man! And then I got to see this. This is what happens with me. I mean, I have never, I have never, ever, ever had something like that happen before. Never, never in my life. Now that is either the, the universe's cruel way of a coincidence or it, it, it's just a, a coincidence of some very bizarre, strange coincidence, contradiction. I just had to watch in front of my eyes. I don't care if it's a human being. I don't care if it's anything. It is a sentient creature that's alive, man. And I, I just watched the thing because of me. It was my fucking fault. I walked by it because I didn't see it. Because I wasn't paying attention. And you know why I wasn't paying attention? 
because I was somebody that got played by an imposter on another channel. I was watching the, this, this girl's channel that starts with an A, and I'm gonna leave the link to a video to this person. And, and they were posing as her, and I thought that I was talking with her, and I thought that I was showing videos to her, and, and, and I was, you know, just expressing stuff, and I was, you know, going back and forth a little bit. But here, it wasn't even her. It wasn't even her. And then I'm like, okay, it wasn't her. And I can't admit, I, I got to admit it. I was a tad bit, I, was, I, I said, this sucks. I was a tad bit hurt by it because I said, damn, I had some kind of, I had a connection. I had, I, I related to this. I, I seen the things that this person was and is and, and how they have like, they might have a form of autism. They're depressed. They're OCD, they're perfectionists. I have all the same things. And I find one person in this world that I might be able to connect to. And I am not lying about what I'm saying here. This is the dead honest truth. Matter of fact, I will show you, and, and I shouldn't do this because it's cruel. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that because I'm not like that. I picked the rabbit up with a leaf by its tail and I, and I sat the rabbit over at the side of the road. I'm not going to show a picture because this is real. It really happened just a minute ago. But that's why I wasn't paying attention. Now, you see what the actions of people do? Now, it's not, it's not necessarily the fault of the actions of somebody else, but I caused it. I caused it because I walked and I was, I was like thinking, oh, I got to film a video. And I was looking down. And I'm thinking of what I'm going to say in this video. And then here this rabbit, it goes, and I see this car coming. And I knew right when this car was coming, I said, no, no. And it ran right under the car. It, I, I knew it was going to get hit by the car. And then when it got hit, I said, I, what did I say? I said, no, why? Like, like I yelled and, and fucking... And then this guy stops, literally, it was five seconds, no, 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 it was like a minute later, this guy pulls up, and there's a Blue Jay sitting in the middle of the road that nobody else hit. It was in the middle of the road the whole time. If I would have seen it, I'd have got it off the road myself, but nobody hit it, and this guy picked up a live Blue Jay. When does a bird let somebody pick it up? Y'all, I'm telling you, this is how strange and bizarre life and my life is. I have had things happen like this before, but this is definitely something that I'll never forget. I'll never forget this. I will never forget this. I'll never forget this moment. It, it, that was so crazy after what was just happening with me that, you know, I'm being a real person and, I'm, and I don't ever, I don't ever reach out to people I, because I'm a very private guy and I don't ever, ever do certain things. But what I'm going to end the video with, if the person does watch this, that now I have to be the one to approach. When I thought that it was this person approaching me, it wasn't. It wasn't approaching me. Now I'm going to approach and I'm just going to say, this situation has nothing to do with the person that I'm reaching out to. But if you watch this, name beginning with an A, ending with an A, Listen, if you want to reach out to me and you want to talk, I would like to listen to what you have to say. I would like to listen to what you have to say. Because when I, when I feel some kind of essence or connection or something that's real, somebody that's real, somebody that 
you you just know you just know something is different from most other people with that person and if any of you have ever had that in your life maybe you didn't maybe you don't and i don't ever have things like that happen to me ever i don't ever have things like that happen to me where i come across someone that is relatable i understand i i went through similar things i've lost people to overdoses i lost three people in my family to overdoses and I, I'm, I'm, I'm a drug addict. I'm a drug addict, but I don't call myself a drug addict. I'm getting off of this shit because I'm tired of living that life. You know, and I'm not saying that I won't do certain drugs. I'm not saying that I won't experiment with shit. But, but the thing is, the drug I'm on, unfortunately, I just can't keep doing that. So I do that, and then I'm thinking that this thing is real and it's not and then that happens and see the reason that i found out but here's the other strange thing here's the other strange thing the pic that the person sent me i don't think it was her i'm 99.98 percent sure that it wasn't her the pic that was sent i looked it up and it came up on Reddit. But here's the thing. Here, here's the catch. The video was the same picture, but in a different angle. And it was not bringing up that picture. So I don't know. It might have been. It might have been. It might have been her. I don't know. But the thing is, I'm more mad at what just happened and upset about that. And the other thing is, you know, would, would someone else like me to, uh, you know, play with their, uh, with their life like that? You know what I'm saying? But you know what? It's okay. It's okay because I understand. And I forgive. Because like I said, when I talked about Jesus Christ and the gospel, I don't bullshit about stuff. I am the image of Jesus Christ. I'm not Jesus Christ, but I'm the image of him because I can forgive things, but I don't forget the stupid things, you see? But I do forgive and I say, you know what? It's like when it says, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And I know this sounds strange and weird, but listen, I don't bullshit for nobody. I don't play games with nobody. I do not. <laughs> the person that I am is probably going to be so unfamiliar to the rest of the world, but I know what I am now. And I know that I am tried and true, and I'm going to be honest, and I'm going to be me. And if I'm going to be so bold for myself, this is what women are looking for, is a man like myself. They might not know that yet. They might not understand that yet. But what they're looking for is a man like me because I understand them. I had women breasts. I had breasts when I was younger. I had to get a surgery on my chest to get rid of my breasts because Really, I, I more than likely was supposed to come out a female, but I came out a male. And I never told anybody that. So that's why I understand the female and the anatomy and how they are. I understand males as well because I am a male. But I also understand women too. But I'm not going to school anybody on what I know because... I figured this stuff out for myself through trials and errors and all kinds of dumb, stupid stuff I did in the past and just all kinds of stuff. You know, I'm not going to get too deep, but listen, <laughs> rest in peace to the rabbit that just got hit. It's, I feel bad and I'm going to feel bad because I caused its death. You know, I didn't kill it. 
but I caused its death. And then that blue jay got picked up by this oriental guy and put in a tree and was alive. And I'm just saying to myself, what is going on here? What is this in the name of all contradiction? What, what is going on here? This is so bizarre. This is so strange. You could not put this in a movie what has just happened. If you put this in a movie, it would have won an Academy Award, and I'm not boasting about that because something just died, but it would, win a, it would have won an Academy Award for an, ep, for an epic, dark, real-life documentary. So what I'm going to end the video with, I made this video for two purposes, to explain what just happened well, no, three purposes. To explain what just happened, to explain what happened before that, and to get on here and tell, beginning with an A, ending with an A. If you wanna reach out, reach out to my Instagram. It is SBN underscore resonate. And my YouTube channel's here. I would like to hear what you have to say. I would like to talk with you if I'm being so brutally honest. And I don't want to do this on the internet, but I have to because I thought that I was talking to you privately. I thought I was talking to you privately. And I wasn't. So there was never a connection there anyway. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I thought, there, I thought that I was like, okay, I'm going to talk with somebody I, I have a connection with for once. It didn't have to turn into anything. It did, nothing had to come of it. You know what I mean? But, but it was worth a shot. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to reach out to me, you know where I'm at. I don't put a lot of my social links in there anymore because I haven't really been up to this for what I, because of what I'm going through. I'm I'm, I'm tapering off of methadone, and I'm not feeling that great. Even right now, I'm not feeling that great. I took a couple more capsules of the Kratom to get me through. And I even seen on the internet a couple of your pictures, and I, and I just seen you in the pictures, and I was really feeling what I seen. I was, I was resonating with it. I was like, wow. You know, I'm looking and I'm like, reflection, reflection, you know, Mikasa Sukasa. But see, it's not an attachment thing. It's just a knowing and understanding thing. You see what I'm saying? Because it's so easy to scare off people nowadays because they don't trust people. They don't want to tell people what's really going on in their lives. And this has to do with the entire world. I'm not just speaking to one female or the person that impersonated this female, it's okay, I understand. I love you, I love you. But I hate the, the trickery and the deceitfulness that you did. You see what I'm saying? But I forgive you and I'm not mad and it's okay. I wish the best for you and I mean that. And I wish the best for anybody on my channel. And now look, now behind me, look at this deer. Look at this deer behind me right here. He knows that I'm no threat. They know that I'm no threat. These are my companions out here. These are my sentient creatures. I walk by these animals all the time and they don't get scared. They don't fear me because they know that I'm not a threat. Ain't that right, buddy? See, look, he's chilling. He knows that I ain't gonna do nothing to him. He looks far away, but he's not. Yeah, he looks far away, but he's not. Where is he at? I think that's him. Yeah, he's moving. Now, when I get too close, you know what I'm saying? I never came up and petted him or nothing, but listen, man, I am intact with this whole thing. I am intact with this whole thing. I am intact with myself. I am intact with 
everything good, bad, right, wrong, up, down, everything I say is true and I'm always gonna be true. I ain't never not going to be true. See, I treat everything, I treat everything like I treat myself and, and I do unto others as I would want done to me. You know, if I, if, if, if you would give me a back, if I would give you a back rub, it would be amazing if you gave me a back rub. Like, like what has happened to our world? What has happened to something to give something to each other that we would want in return? You see what I'm saying? Right now I'm making videos and I'm, I'm speaking about it, but some things have not come into fruition yet because I'm not forcing it. I'm not that guy, that's not what I do. I don't force anybody against their will to do nothing. They have a choice and I give them a choice. Do you wanna go left or do you wanna go right? Or do you wanna just stay right where you're at? Do you want to uh, stand up? Do you want to lay down? Or do you want to sit in a chair? You see, this is my mind. This is how I think. You know, don't hate me for anything and, and don't hate knowledge. Gain knowledge for yourself so that you can know yourself in this world better because it's a lack of knowledge that destroys the people. And then I know there's other brain things going on like depression and bipolar and schizophrenia autism, OCD, perfectionism, a fear of what the world will think, and on and on and on and on and on and on and on. I don't know why you can't see the moon in this video. The beautiful moon behind me, you can't even see it. That's weird. But anyway, I like, I like the moon because I like the nighttime. I like, I like harvest. I like crop. I like just things that when I see someone else, you know, you can tell a lot about a person. All you got to do is look at their body postures. All you got to do is look at the things they wear. Look at how they carry themselves. Look at how they keep up with themselves. Listen to the things they say. But I mean, are we really doing this though? You know what I'm saying? And this all has to do with, I want the best for you. I want the best for myself as I want the best for you. See, I can't say it. I want the best for you like I want the best for myself. No, I want the best for myself like I want the best for yourself. But see, I can't determine what happens with that. And I know that we're in a world that is strange, bizarre, cruel, things suffer. Okay, well, why don't we look at these things and say, okay, well, what, what is something that I can that I can somehow just help along the way until the time comes to when I can't do it no more. And then I'm powerless, it's time to go. My, my days on this earth have ended. And how did I live my life? Well, is it gonna matter or is it not gonna matter? I don't know because I don't know for sure if there is some kind of creator, but what I, when I see things like that, I, I, I question it. I really question it when I see what I just seen. Why one thing dies horribly and another thing lives. So if we're being honest, God,
is the epitome of good and evil for some reason. For some reason. And I could get into detail of why I think that if there was something, why this is, but I'm not going to do that in this video because I didn't want to get into that in this video because that might just shun more people away from me. That might just make more people not like me or disagree or say, oh, no, I can't listen to you anymore. You see? So anyway, whoever's here listening to me and watching this and supporting my channel, I appreciate the donations from the ones that did donate. I don't want to say your name online because... I don't give out confidentiality. I, I, I'm, I'm a very private person, so I won't say your name. If I do, I'll say the first name, but not the last name. But you know who you are. I appreciate it. And to beginning with an A, ending with an A, if you would like to reach out to a real one, if you would like to reach out to somebody that understands, somebody that can sit and listen, Somebody that has come to, like I said, a rude awakening. I, I have had my awakening, but then it turned into a rude awakening. I have had my great calamity. I have had my drug addiction. I have tapered and weaned off of. I have cold turkeyed off of things. So I know what pain and suffering is. I have had three overdoses, overdose deaths in my family. I seen my brother on the floor, purple, black, and dead. I've seen things like that. So even though I wasn't in a war, I have seen dead people. Those closest to me. So I know how it hurts. I know when somebody dies that you cared for, that you thought that really had your best interests, but something in them wasn't right. So they couldn't give you that. See, I'm not here to play with people. I am here to preserve the wellness of whatever I can until that thing no longer lives. I am here to find a graceful exit for people when the time comes. And, and, and I would hope that people could find a craft or a skill or uh, some kind of thing where they're planning food, building a home, getting an RV, doing something in their lives that they can be proud of but not prideful with. Is anybody hearing me? for themselves or am I just the only one in this matrix am I the only one out here in this oblivion talking to myself I know I'm talking to some people but are we really listening is the question because once you listen and once you're honest there there's no way you're going to be forced to change something is going to change Something is going to be new in your life, even though there's a lot of old shit that might still be in the mind. You, 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 it's a renewing of your mind in a dying world. And you understand this and you say, okay, even though everything's dying, everything's perishing, everything in nature is cruel, an animal got to eat an animal, and what just happened that I seen happened. But... That doesn't mean that we have to be a part of those kinds of things until we exit out of this thing into our souls if we have that. You see, I want my soul to be at peace when I go. So, brother, I don't want to lie to myself and, I don't, and, I, and I'm not going to lie to myself and I'm not going to lie to other people. And I get serious, but there is a time where I lighten up. I, I, I am, I'm down to earth. I'm calm, cool, collective. I'm open, 
but I'm not open for no stupid, dumb bullshit. I'm not open for unnecessary drama. I'm not open for the stupid things. I'm not open for cruel intentions with people. And this is what we need to be asking ourselves. What is our intentions in this life? What is our intentions while we're here? Because yes, what we're doing is we are surviving. It's a survival game. In that survival, I read something on the, the person's channel I'm talking about, AA, that it says to live is to suffer. It's something DMX said, I can't remember it. I know, I know the quote, I heard it a million times. To live is to suffer. And to, to find meaning in the suffering. To live is to suffer. <laughs> now see, I, I don't like when I do that. It makes me feel stupid, but anyway, it's on the song, I'm slipping, I'm falling, I can't get up by DMX. To live is to suffer. And to find meaning in that suffering. And to live is to find meaning and to survive. To live is to find meaning. To live is to suffer. And to survive is to find meaning in that suffering. But see, I don't necessarily believe in meaning, but that phrase I, I resonate with, but... I don't, in another way, I don't believe in meaning. I believe in having something here to do to be proud of. That some people can do something to be proud of. See, there, today there's no more community. Yeah, online there's community. But there is no face-to-face -face, uh, touching each other, patting each other, hugging each other putting each other, putting an arm around someone or patting someone on the chest, you know, looking at someone right in the eye and saying, look, you ain't got to feel any kind of way. I am. You are. We are here. What's on your mind? I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to tell people what to do. I'm not here to... Uh, I, I'm not here to, I said this earlier when I was texting this imposter, I said, well, this person, I'll say this person. I said, I'm not here to judge and I will not think any less of you unless it's a person that is just completely out of control because they don't have themselves under control because they're not responsible for their lives then that's that that can be a problem but but i'm not i'm not talking about this in this video because i don't care about that right now i i am on a different plane of thinking if you resonate with this then you resonate with something that has probably never been done and said in human history i am the first one to put myself out like this and expose myself and that's what i was going to do a video earlier of when you expose yourself, you are honest with yourself. Exposure is not what we think it is. When one exposes themselves, one is honest and one is open and one is vulnerable. And yeah, they're, they're weak when they do that. But when you are weak, you are strong in yourself. See the contradiction going on. The, the, the white and black circle. So look, I'm, I'm gonna end this video. It's getting dark. And, and I, to be truthfully honest, I didn't even wanna make this video, but there was something in me that said, no, I'm making it. Because I'm not being scared anymore. I'm not living in fear anymore. Screw that. I'm done with it. But anyway, if the person I'm talking about wants to hit me up you know where to find me you know where i'm at i'll be you know i'll be here uh but who knows i don't know i might not be here for long anything could happen i could die tonight <laughs>
I don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's life. I could get ran over by a car right now. I could fall over from a heart attack right now. I don't know. But anyway, I'm here. Take care. Be well. And until Mars.